So he should be thriving, to be honest, and he should be using all nine bays. G'day viewers, Chris Atkins here, and you can probably guess where I am. Not sure how, but <laughs> this sign probably tells you where I am. Yep, Sin City, Las Vegas. We've come here all the way from California to check out a couple of car washes. We're gonna scout and see exactly what car washes are like here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, see how they compare to California. So let's go check it out. So first impression pulling up to the car wash, it's a huge car wash, it's like nine bays. I know not all of them are open, there's something going on with them, they're closed down so we'll check them out later on. But I mean it's nice and bright, obviously I'm here at night time. And here's an example of what can happen at the car wash, you know you might pull in a bay and the brush head is off. In this case it looks like it can just screw back on, it doesn't look broken off or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and screw that in and uh, hopefully fix it help the guy out you know why wouldn't I fix it so well I did my best I screwed it in but it just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and it wouldn't get tighter so not sure if I fixed it to its fullest but hopefully I uh we'll, we'll see how it works later on once the soap starts coming out we'll hang that up and um test it out in a little bit but let's go ahead and get some change looks like the vending machines are only a couple of months old they look very new so Kind of looks like he's staying on top of things somewhat. So let's put a five in there, test it out. I noticed the light was on in the top right corner. You can see right there, the light's on, but it seemed to work. So I'm not sure what's going on there and uh, gives out quarters. So I got $5 worth of quarters. Even though I saw a sign saying tokens, let's see. Yeah, tokens, must be an old sign anyway. Security cameras, that's good. I'm sure he's watching me. Hello. But let's go ahead and test it out. So from the looks of things, the way the gun is in there, it's pointing straight this way, which is where you put the money in. So if I put the money, hey, I found a quarter. It's my lucky day. So like I was saying, if I start the bait, $1 for four, insert four quarters. I'm guessing that's for two minutes. So if I start the bay, gonna spray right at me let's test it out one two and it's already on rinse so three four take a step back ah there we go see spray spray right at you it's spraying literally right at the person so why would this be facing like this because I'm sure he I'm sure he's meant for people to put it back this way, but who would put it back that way? So to have that facing exactly where you pay, that's bananas. But anyway, all he has to do is put this facing that way. So it's hitting the ground. Anyway, so it looks like $1 for three minutes. Welcome to Las Vegas. Let's put in most of these quarters, because if I leave them there, someone's gonna walk by and grab them, I'm sure. But this place is fairly well lit. You can see the lights up top. It's pretty bright, you know, I can't complain about the light. It's a huge car wash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's nine bays, so it's massive, but they got one, two, two ends blocked off, three blocked, four bays are blocked. Hey, I'm wasting my time, let's go. So really, it's a nine bay minus four. 
What's that? <laughs> 5 B car wash. Alright, that should be enough to test it. Alright, wash soap. Let's test out the wash soap. Pretty good pressure. Probably about a thousand PSI, can't complain. Just waiting for the soap to come out. It looks like it, but it's not. It's just the light. It's on soap, right? Wash soap. Okay. Okay, well, there's no soap coming out, so that's a strike. First strike. Rinse, that obviously works. Wax, well, I don't want to start with the wax. I'd like a little soap on the car. Engine cleaner. Let's see what engine cleaner, because they only got the two hoses, so. Engine cleaner would have to come out of here. Again, it's nothing, nothing yet. I mean, there might be a little, oh, there it is, a little green. Okay, so it took a little long to come out, but better late than never. And it's nice fluoro green. Again, there's no brush to really scrub it with, so I'm just gonna have to let the chemicals do the work, but I don't wanna do the other tires, so. Let's switch it. Oh, that was engine cleaner, my bad. Tire cleaner, I'm sure it's the same thing. Spraying all the way over there. Again, just make it that way. I don't get it. Pre-soak. So the pre-soak pre should be here and the wash soap should be like here. Just, just my opinion. I could be wrong, there's no right or wrong. So that's the remaining tire cleaner coming out, out the lines. So we want the pre-soak, so it's a high pressure pre-soak. Which is interesting because it still hasn't come out yet. I don't think there's any soap with this car wash. I mean, it looks like a little bit's coming out, but come on now, turn it up, be generous. All right, so pre-soak is pretty much non-existent. So I'm yet to see any soap and I'm, I've gone all the way around here and it's a 10 rotary switch. Foam brush. Let's see how the foam brush comes out. Not that I, I, I don't even want to use this brush on my truck because that is so coarse. But at least we've got soap coming out. And at least the brush is working now since like you saw before the head was off it, but Brush soap, I can't really complain. I mean, it's plenty of soap coming out. Nice big thick blobs. I mean, I'll take that. Good job on the foam brush. Just change the head to a hog's hair. And I think it'll be good. And that's just spot free rinse. So in terms of soap on the car, besides the foam brush, there's really no options, but uh, I want to get something worth my money. So let's check out the wax. And these things, I'm sure, get tangled all the time. As you can see, I'm trying to grab that, move that out of the way, put that up against the wall. But I want some wax. Where's the wax? There's hardly any wax coming out. So basically, it's just foam brush when it's attached and high pressure rinse and that's pretty much it let's check the spot free and, and i mean the spot free is coming out it's not bad pressure who knows if it's really spot free though and then that's pretty much it so a little disappointing they should get air dries and put air dries here just add it over there have the hose come out and that's pretty much it. Keep them in the bays longer, extra time, extra money. And uh, let's get uh, a little extra rinse, just wash the truck down. 
So it looks good for the Vegas Strip. good enough. Let's turn this thing off. Take my quarters. So they've got fairly big drains. They've probably got to be cleaned out. Depends how busy it is. Probably scoop out all the mud. Maybe once every three weeks. Once you start seeing the mud build up, then it's just time to do it. So like I said before, these three end bays are closed. So there's no hoses in there. I think he's just not that busy, so he doesn't need nine bays. And he doesn't want to spend the money to get these up and running because he's simply just not that busy. I mean, you can see they're all messed up. So it's a huge car wash and I think if he did it up and made it really good, you know, put in all the five different hoses in the bays, gave it some air dryers and uh, made it really good, made, made sure the soap and everything was working, I think it would do pretty good. Then he would probably need all nine bays and you probably wouldn't ever need to wait you know, since it's so big. Might be worth putting a note on the door. Why not? See what response you get. One more customer there. But yeah, I think this car wash has huge potential. I mean, it's massive, it's nine bays. And if you've got it all up and running, like I always say to the best of its ability, I mean, add in the five different hoses, add in the pre-soak hose, add, add in the tire cleaner hose, you know, get better brush heads, make sure the soap's coming out of the soap gun and just make it really good make sure everything's working uh i think the price is pretty good it's pretty cheap a dollar for three minutes so you know whether you want to up that price a little bit because you're giving a much better product and then i think he would really need all nine bays because you know weather's obviously always pretty good here in las vegas and uh, it's on a pretty busy main road might be able to see a bunch of cars going by it's kind of it's this way with the road perpendicular is that the word it's perpendicular with the road it would be better if it was going with the road this way but it's not so no big deal I think they got a pretty good sign out front saying car wash so uh, dollar car wash actually so let me show you guys the sign so I don't think there's really any issues with visibility it's a pretty good location busy road lots of surrounding businesses thriving businesses so he should be thriving to be honest and he should be using all nine bays so let's check out the vacuums you can see there's an automotive shop there. It's got two more rooms on the end, maybe for storage. So let's check out the vacuums. It's a power vac, 50 cents, which is pretty cheap. I'm not sure how much time that gets here. It looks like you just put on a brand new hose and it's a very interesting end. Let's test it out, hopefully it works. See, these latches are open. If these doors are open and there's any air getting out, then it's not gonna suck that powerful, you know? But a lot of people always go through here and try and get out all the nickels and dimes and small change. Anyway, here goes nothing. Not bad, I'd say it's about 70, 70% 70 suction. I definitely think I like my nozzles better. It's a little bit more of an opening and it that's gonna do it you should get the security bar here that's pretty secure but but the more better security you can do why not So you can see it's on a busy six lane highway, three lanes going one way, three lanes going the other way. And it's a pretty constant flow of traffic. So, you know, like I said, you've got a few other businesses, you've got Jack in the Box, Circle K, you've got a Chevron, you've got a McDonald's just over there and it's actually right next to a Chevron. But look at all that traffic there. So it is in a great location. But as I was explaining before, the road is running this way and the car wash is going that way. But like I said, with the signage that he has, you know, it's pretty visible. There's no reason why he can't be busy. Oh,